No allergy worries for me, Cynthia. Nasonex, though, I'm all, I'm high on Nasonex today. That's right, 83 degrees in Cedar Hill. We have lots of sunshine out there looking over Joe Pool Lake. It's a pretty late afternoon. 83 in Dallas looking over the mighty Trinity River. 84 was the high today. 81 is the normal high. We finished three above normal today on the high side. We finished eight above normal on the low side. The morning low should be. The normal low is 59. We bottomed out at 67. Outside right now, it's 83 south southeast wind at 16 miles per hour. There it is. There's the ragweed, the bane of our existence, right? It's very high. Elm is problematic today, too. That's moderate and fungus never goes away today. That's moderate. A little spotty shower. Remember the spotty shower in uh, Fort Worth? Watch this. It kind of moved right up now. It's kind of here in southeastern Denton County. We have a couple little spotty showers, but by 7 o'clock, for the most part, it's ending. Certainly by 8, 9 o'clock, we're dry. Skies clear out tonight. Here comes a cold front tomorrow. Decent cold front. We'll have high temps in the 90s tomorrow in advance of that front. It's on top of us at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It'll pass by. There could be a sprinkle or a spotty shower with it. 10% rain coverage tomorrow. The higher and the better place for rain will be in East Texas and Southeast Texas where we'll have just more moisture. So there's my rain coverage again. There's the front. So it's mainly in the afternoon. Dallas, Fort Worth and locations off to the east and also to the southeast. How much rain will we pick up? Almost nothing with that front tomorrow, but it's a Sunday night cold front that will bring with it a decent chance of rain. Actually, it's a Saturday night cold front bring with it an upper level disturbance on Sunday and into Monday. That's when we have a decent chance of seeing a tenth, a quarter, maybe a couple of isolated spots. If you have a little thunderstorm, you could see up to a half an inch of rain, but most of that will fall Saturday night, Sunday, Sunday night and into the day on Monday. My forecast has all that in it. Temperatures tomorrow 92 in advance of that front. 85 behind it on Thursday, 88 on Friday. Then we warm up in advance of that Saturday night front. Saturday's high 91 and then cooler on Sunday. Even though we have the cool downs, you can see through the weekend we stay above normal with our temperatures. The forecast tonight, nothing more than clearing skies. We dry out the little bit of spotty rain that's there now only lasts for another hour or so. 68 is the low tonight. During the day tomorrow we hit 92. It'll be a warm day. It'll be a breezy day. It'll be a sunny day as we head through tomorrow. There's the next 10. There's the temps that cool down, then we warm up, and there's that rain coverage as we head through Saturday night. Only 20% of us have that chance of rain Saturday night. 40% of us Sunday and Sunday night. 20% of us on Monday, and then uh, a nice cool down next week. So we're in the 80s and 90s this week. It'll feel more like the middle of October as we head through next week with high temperatures in the 70s. And a number of those mornings, you know, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning, there's places up along the Red River that'll have lows in the 40s. So Yay. some of the coolest air that we've seen certainly so far this season is on the way. 80s and 90s this week and 70s in the forecast next week. That's going to be a nice, uh, a nice cool down indeed. So let's all look forward to that.